Number 200 is still foundational, which is interesting. Chicks dig guys willing to risk an early gruesome death. Expendability is a display of high value. Think of a cop. Think of a paratrooper. Think of military. Think of um, a guy on a motorcycle. Firefighters. Anything where guys pass away early. Um, and again, it's interesting because this has come up on different threads in, in different out of all the guys, I mean, everybody knows one or two guys that like drank a lot, did drugs a lot, ran with a lot of women and all of them, almost all, I probably knew eight or 10 all passed away before the age of 30. They all died in early death. And it was never anything like, you know, um, it was always, they fell out of the back of a truck drunk. They crashed their car into a pole. There was a lot of falling out of moving vehicles. Um, but again, it's the those alpha characteristics of willing to lay it on the line that's attractive to women as opposed to a guy who's in a pair of Dockers and um, a Costco shirt and he's playing it safe and he's working for forty thousand dollars a year and he's mowing the yard again it you know at a certain point girls will seek out stability over time maybe um but generally a a lack of self-preservation is exciting to women and it never hurts to have a little bit of that even if you kind of like need a straight and narrow and i think that's a, one of the reasons like down the road like where girls get bored within relationships, they have these wild guys that they basically have to tame in order to have children because you can't have these guys, you know, up 24 hours a day when you have kids in the house. So you have to know that that expendability is extremely sexy, that willing to risk and put it on the line, whether you do it or not, just the appearance. That's where I always think like motorcycles or boats, anything that is somewhat inherently open and dangerous is a turn on for women. They just love it. They doesn't mean they're going to like really approve of you riding it or risking your ass on it, but they find it interesting and exciting. And that's, and for most guys, they need a little bit of that in their life, but as a display expendability, the willing to die an early and gruesome death um, is a display of high value. Whereas, you know, being somewhat conservative and self-preservation isn't. Does it mean you shouldn't do it? No, of course not. But just the appearance of risk-taking um, and willing, and you, you see it happen in nature, is the guys that with high testosterone that tended to kind of live on the edge, they actually do, you know, the, the eight or ten that I knew, literally none of them made it past their 20s. And most of them, it was like early twenties. By twenty three or twenty four, they were they were they would die at least one a year, um, and like motorcycle accidents, falling out of a moving vehicle. That's a lot of it. drive a truck into a into a wall. Um, and if you look back at your own history, you'll kind of like see the one or two guys that you may have known that were you know high risk, you know low low good judgment um, tend to pass away pretty early on. But these are the women, these are the men that are exciting to women and interesting to women on, on every level. Even the girls that go, yeah, I'm not interested in them. There's something about, there's something about him is what they'll say. Um, <laughs> so Balancer 182 says, how come you're still alive? I think, I think because there's actually like a breakover point, like, you know, even though I like, I like riding motorcycles, I like bikes, I like the military, um, there's always a little bit like a 10%. I probably was in that, that upper above 50% risk level, you know, somewhat there's some self-preservation there. That's pretty funny. Cause I've thought about the same thing, but, but these guys are that next level. You would know them. You know, I, I, there's only one guy that actually, I can't believe he's still alive. And it's funny because this is a guy that you like never like made eye contact with. Cause he had such a, what would you say? A, a, a snap temper and he was dangerous and like now on facebook he like posts about 
his his plants and his garden and his flower collection. You're like, okay, because guys, they make it into like 40s, 50s, 60s. I guess he's late 50s now, and they mellow out. So it is kind of strange to see this guy that was truly dangerous and what he cultivates his garden and his flowers and his grandkids. Um, so it's an, an interesting thing. Chicks dig guys. Remember this. If you got to put a little danger into your game, maximum number 200. Chicks dig guys willing to risk an early gruesome death. Expendability is a display of high value. You got to put it on. It's good for you too. A little bit of risk taking is good for you too. Next slide. 